am Dr. Katherine Kembler, um, and I am the flute professor here at Louisiana State University. And today I am going to give you a few tips on how to practice and learn the two etudes that are required for this year's Allstate auditions. Both of these etudes are found in the Selected Studies book, and following the tutorial on these two etudes, there will also be a recording of the two etudes in their entirety, performed by my senior undergraduate, Connor Dugas, who is the student here at Louisiana State University. So this second etude, this fast etude, is found on page 23, and it's by a composer named Kurler, and it's Allegretto Agitato. So one of my first things I'd like to say to you is that really try not to play this too, too fast. It doesn't have to be fast. Um, it's not Allegro or Vivace. It's uh, Allegretto Agitato, so not too fast. And I would highly recommend that you start practicing this very slowly in three, with the eighth note getting the beat. I'm going to demonstrate how to practice this um, with the metronome at 100 to the eighth note. You might want to even start slower than that if you're having any technical difficulties with this. Just to get the idea of how to practice it that way. Now, once you have learned all the notes and the rhythms, and I really think the rhythm is very important here. I've heard so many people play this incorrectly rhythmically, but I think if you practice it with the subdivisions, that won't be a problem. When you get it a little faster, you should start feeling it in one, but I highly recommend that you use a metronome that subdivides so you can put it into triple subdivisions. I have set this metronome at 56 with triple subdivisions because I think this is a pretty good tempo for this piece. expression markings. In the first line you see the word martellato. The word martellato means hammered out. So these notes need to be highly accented. Like that. Um, and you might even want to practice it without using your tongue. Ha 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 ha. Like that. So that you know how much abdominal engagement you're going to need to get the martellato effect. Like that. And then when you get to these accents, don't overdo the accents. They don't have to be... Even if you have good low notes, you don't have to really show them off that much. Just play musically. here is the breathing because you really want to make it through the first two lines to the end of the second line after the A at the beginning of that bar. That's where you get a good breath. Now you can breathe before that but you kind of have to sneak them a little bit taking little rebound breaths like I talked about in my tutorial on the other A2. So when you get to this you're going to be breathing, I would suggest breathing after the first eighth note in the third bar, and then after the first eighth note in the fourth bar. And you'll just kind of sneak little breaths. So you see how I snuck little breaths, maybe you couldn't even tell, but da. Da, 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 da. and keep doing that and do it at the end of the second line breathe after the first note and then at the beginning of the third line breathe after the first note I think that will be very important now I already said that the dynamics are very important in this but there's some places where there are some dynamics missing I think and that starts in the fourth line 
where you have loud, soft, and then a crescendo and nothing. So I think you should mark in loud, soft, well, it's already marked in the first two bars, loud, soft, and then in the third and fourth bar, mark loud, soft, and then keep it soft until um, the next crescendo. So it'll sound like this. So in order to play these, you're going to have to do the little tricks that I just talked about, where you think up, like that. So you're thinking, um, especially in the low register, you might not only want to be thinking ah and in the ear down, but really let the upper lip Point, be in front of the lower lip, a little bit like that. Really helps to bring out those low notes. And then you have, you have the same thing four times and it's all marked forte. And I really think that um, that's very boring. You can do it that way, but it's very boring. So I would suggest adding some new dynamics I like to play it, the first one loud, the second statement soft, and then the next two a crescendo. Ha ha ha. 
So we're going to and fast. And that gives a very brilliant ending to your A2. What a wonderful way to end. Thank you very much. I hope these comments have been useful to you, helpful to you. Please listen to Connor's performance of the whole, entire agent.